Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this liquid effect in After Effects. So this has been inspired from Texture Labs and this is only half of the tutorial. Eventually, this has been modified and I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, first step, create a new composition. Go to Composition, New Composition. I'm going to type in Typo. I'm going to make it 1080p and the frame rate is going to be 12. Background black, click OK. From here I'm going to drag in the vector logo I created. Here, right click, create, create shape from vector layer. I'm going to delete the original vector. And now I'm going to recolor this, go to fill. I'm going to select some dirty cyan, click OK. And now we're going to add that liquid effect on this. So go to the effect and presets and type in turbulent displace and it's right here double click and it's going to show up here in the effect controller now change this to bulge the amount is going to be three size is going i'm going to make it like 60. now it really depends on what kind of typography you are using complexity four and we got here the evolution time i'm going to press and hold alt and click on the time watch now this is going to activate here this code part and I can type in here time star 400. I'm going to click somewhere here. From here I'm going to hit play. As you can see it is moving. Now it's a little bit more distorted. It has a little bit of grunge to it. Okay from here we're going to right click here, go to new and select adjustment layer. So we're going to create a new adjustment layer. We're going to type in here fill. Double click. Or you can just drag it onto the adjustment layer, you know, and change the color to black. Now we're going to type in here bevel alpha. Double click. So it's going to be 15. And the intensity is going to be a 1. You can adjust. So the lighting is going to go from left to right or from the top. It really depends how you want. Now we're going to choke this with a simple choke. So it's going to create a stronger contrast. I'm going to add to the choke mat 7. Now we're going to type in solid composite. Make this black. We're going to add some fractal noise. Double click. And we're going to decrease the contrast to 3. And we're going to change the blend mode to overlay. So as you can see it starts to add more shadow and it's going to feel more wavy this way. We're going to add fast box blur. Blur Radius 2, Threshold, double click on this, and this is going to make it with high contrast. So if I increase it, you know, it starts to disappear, it starts to, you know, uh, cut basically in pieces. I can add another fast box, Blur Radius, I'm going to type in 1, and we're going to add now Brightness and Contrast. There you go, double click. And make sure to activate the use legacy and for the contrast type in 80. And now this is going to eliminate the blur. Okay, so go to the adjustment layer here and change the blending mode to screen. And this is how you create this, uh, you know, lighting effect here. And if you hit play, it starts to animate. Now you also can increase the level or decrease the level of the threshold, you know and it starts to connect together and you know decrease then the edge thickness a little bit you can play around with multiple options and get like different results so far this is it thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end have a good one bye bye